Hello guys, welcome to the SAT2 Math Level 1 and 2 app, which is massive. It will help you a great deal uh, preparing for an SA2 uh, Level 1 and 2 test for mathematics. It runs on the TI Inspire CAS only, so not on the CX. You need the computer algebra system. Just to give you an idea of what this app has, it has everything up to uh, pre-calculus, everything that you need to take the SAT uh, math level 2 test and also level 1. So you can see all the algebra features, functions, polynomials, points and lines, quadratic equations, conics, analyzer, complex numbers, exponents, logarithms, and so forth. Matrices, vectors, circles, geometry, and also some specials that occur on SAT tests, special questions. So let's take a look at some, um, some examples. Of course, you can always quickly solve any equation right here. And you could even limit your interval if you wanted to. Notice as you type in your equation, the answer pops up right away. Let's look at some other examples too. Also, there are sections in there where you can read formulas, like if you need to remind yourself what binomials are, here are the three formulas for binomials listed for you. Okay, um, let's do some okay examples domain of a function, range of a function. Okay, so let me show you how this works. You just type in your equation. Well, x squared has a domain of uh, all real numbers. But if you change that to 1 over x squared, you can see that it immediately the domain turns into all x values not equaling 0. Straightforward. Just plug in and you get your answer right away. Here's a good one. Find inverse functions. Say you want to find the inverse of any function, you type it in. The x's and y's are switched. Solve for the new y. Here's your inverse function. If you want to evaluate the inverse, you plug in a c value here, say 77, and then you get the value of the inverse evaluated at 77. If this is not uh, legible, you just have to scroll down to see the full answer. Also, remember, if you enter a decimal number, your output will be decimal, as simple as that. Okay, so these inverse functions, they occur quite a bit on the SATs. Also, of course, you can uh, factor expressions, expand expressions, just as needed. Um, more examples. Quadratic equations, conics, complex numbers. So, of course, the um, quadratic equation can be solved here step by step. Just enter the quadratic equation without setting it equal to zero. And down is at the bottom, you will find the final answer, and the steps are shown as well. But this section is very useful. For example, if you now one complex zero, Okay, such as this preloaded zero. Or let's make it a little easier. Say this is our uh, complex zero. Here it is again. Then we know that the complex conjugate is also a zero. And the underlying polynomial quadratic equation that these two um, complex numbers are zeros of can be found as well. This right here. Okay, so that's that. And also you can analyze conics. Here's a conic analyzer. You just type in any um, quadratic equation. Here we're going to get a circle. If we alter the original equation, we can see immediately that this turns into an ellipse, okay, etc. So as you change your equation here, you immediately get the correct shape with all the um, properties, 
Okay, so here for the ellipse, you have the two axes, the focus one and two eccentricity, covertices area. Very handy. Exponents and logarithms, the typical things, change of base, uh, money growth problems, the rule of 72, etc., etc. Sequences and series, the same thing. Uh, let me show you the infinite geometric series. You got to just enter your first value, G1, and the common ratio. They get plugged into the sum formula and evaluated right there. Again, if you change your input, you immediately get your output. You could also enter the sum right here and then solve for one of the other two. That would work as well. Statistics, probabilities, and combinatorics. So you can find average, mean, median. Okay, you just have to enter your numbers here as they are shown to you. Just put them in the list form here, and then you can see the, ans the answers uh, right here in the bottom. Median, we don't have a mode. So for a mode, we would need to have a repeating number, let's say 7. And now the mode, if we scroll up, will be 7. Okay, average, which is the mean, is right here. The median is here. The mode is given. The standard deviation, the range, everything at your fingertips. How good is that? Matrices and vectors. All the standard computations for matrices right here, for vectors as well. Uh, what we just added is here a combination of uh, two vectors. Say you have a vector 1, 5 gets multiplied by 4, and the vector b multiplied by 5. Okay, you can see right here the outcome is going to be 19, 25 as a vector. You can find the length of that vector in square root format. And again, enter it as a decimal, your outcome will be a decimal. And of course, we can give you a unit vector that points in that direction as the vector 1925 that we found here. So as I said, this uh, app is massive trigonometry. You can of course solve any um, triangle uh, given side, 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 angle, side, 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 angle, etc. We also included an, an analyzer for you. All you do is you type in your um, trigonomet trigonometric equation, can be a sine, can be a cosine, and then um, we are showing you here the period amplitude vertical shift that um, is in that equation. Circles, sectors, arc lengths, and uh, coordinates, geometry. Of course, all the 2D and 3D shapes can be solved here. I want to point out this half-filled cone. Say you have a cone of dimensions with radius 4 and height 12, and you're asked to find the, find the height of a cone that is half filled. So a full cone volume is 64 pi, half the volume is 32 pi, and using the 32 pi plugged into the uh, volume equation then gives you uh, the height of a half filled cone. This is uh, here in decimals 9.52. So this is, comes in very handy as well. Of course, we have uh, conversions, rectangular to polar, uh, degree to radian, degree to degree, minutes and seconds. And last but not least, we have some specials um, pertaining sigma notation, counting the number of integers given a range, or that are counting the integers that are divisible by um, one or two numbers etc., etc., and some set theory facts. So all this is uh, part of the SAT Made Easy app, can be downloaded at tiinspireapps.com, 
and thanks for watching.